thanks for joining me this morning. Um, I actually have a few things that I'd like to plant. I've got some shallots and a little bit more garlic I want to put around some of the edges of the beds that I have. And I'm also going to be planting just kind of refurbishing. I want to put in some more spinach before it gets too hot. And then I have a couple other things that I usually wait till a little bit later to plant, like my corn. I don't have a whole lot of any of it that I'm going to do, but I just wanted to bring you along and show you how I do this. It's the first week in June, so uh, it's a good time for me to get planting corn in zone 9B and some of these other things. I'm going to start over here with the spinach. Alrighty, this was some ground. I already put some fertilizer and compost and bone meal. I took out some of my lettuce uh, that we didn't finish up for the season. It was starting to bolt, but I just want to kind of go around the different things that I have and just put a few. There's a little, be careful with my chamomile. I'm starting to get flowers again. But all I'm going to do is just put together some spinach seeds here. And the way I do these kind of seeds is I really just kind of sprinkle them on the top of the area that I want to grow some spinach. Like so. And you don't want this buried real deep, so I really just kind of move my fork along and just just so I get, get them covered for the most part. There's a rub. And there you go. So here I've got a little thing of shallots. All I'm gonna do is just take the skins off of them. I have two in this one. And so all I'm gonna do is just plant a couple of these right next to my tomatoes. Now, you want to make sure that the root part is down. This is the root right here. And so you'll plant it with this little thing coming up here. So I think I'm just going to put it right here. Actually, I'm going to put it a little closer to the tomato. They do help to keep bugs away when you plant garlic and shallots and things like that. They definitely help. I think I am going to plant a couple more zucchinis over here just because I did want to do some zucchini relish this year. And uh, so I'm going to do one. I realize I only have one plant there and I'll try to do a crookneck squash here. I think I've got a couple of those seeds. Whichever one takes off is going to be the plant we're going to have. I just realized I didn't save any room for corn this year, so I'm gonna have to plant it next year. But I've got a lot of stuff going on in this garden, so I'm just gonna work out here a few more minutes. I need to be somewhere in about uh, half an hour, so. Uh, so I'm gonna say goodbye. Thank you for joining me today. I was gonna show you my cucumbers real quick. So these are some cucumbers for dill pickles. They all came up. It looks like some of them are starting to grow up this fence, which is great. As you can see, I was talking about yesterday, these little, these little arms kind of pull out and they find where they want to grow up. And as those get bigger, I'm just going to put some stakes up and this will all be trellised before you know it. And I did notice I actually have some little baby cucumbers starting to grow. So... I think we'll, oh my goodness, look at those. I think we'll be getting cucumbers before you know it. Look at that. That makes me so happy. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.